What's up guys? For today's video we're going to do a little test between gas chainsaw 16 inches and battery operated electric chainsaw 16 inches as well. Let's see which one is best. I always thought gas chainsaw a little bit more powerful but you know technology catching up so this one is 60 volt D volt chainsaw supposed to be have a lot of power as well but again it's not supposed to be used for those big trees 16 inches chainsaw are for the smaller trees so i got here a few logs and we're going to do small medium and larger one and we'll see which one is going to do faster or better first of all they're pretty much same weight this one obviously a little bit heavier but overall almost the same maybe a few pounds less on this one i also never operated electric chainsaw so i'm really excited to see how loud it's going to be because this gas chainsaws are really really loud you want to have ear protection because if you using chainsaw all day you're going to have a good ring in your ears so you better protect your ears when you use the chainsaws so hopefully this one a lot quieter so let's see how powerful this electric chainsaw versus this gas chainsaw so this is the smaller log let's see how and which is going to be faster on a smaller log boom i love this look at that it's not shaking it just sits there so well first of all obviously to start up this chainsaw you gotta be very careful you gotta put on floor there's few steps you have to take before you start it Okay, that looks good. Obviously, this is turned off on safety. Not bad. Now let's see how hard to start this chain. I never used this one before, so let me figure this out. This is tighter. There you go. Now it's tighter. So it's really easy. You don't even have to have tools to adjust it. Wow, that's it. All you have to do is press this and then press this and it's ready to go. Looks like it's a little loose. So let me lock it in. So what I have to do is just Make it tighter. There you go. Maybe a little bit more tight on the chain. There you go. And all I have to do is just press here and press it. Wow, that's it. I don't even have to start it. It is still pretty loud as well. But wow, this is awesome. I can't believe how easy it is. And again, chainsaws are very dangerous. You gotta know how to use them. There is right here, kickback and everything the same like a regular chainsaw. Chainsaws are not a joke. Okay, let's see how this one will do. Wow. Well guys, which one is faster? This is pretty awesome. Honestly, this thing is a lot quieter. And also, when you stop operating it, it's not running. It's just being quiet. And also, I like how this part right here sits right next to your arm. So if you go a little bit forward, it will automatically shut off. Look at that, right next to your hand. Let's see what happens when I... You see? And it automatically shuts off right away. Wow! This is amazing. I love this. Wow! Versus this one, you have to start it very carefully. Hold it between your legs and then make sure it's locked. And it doesn't start. And it's so annoying to start those chainsaws. Why doesn't it start? There you go. Ah. Oh my gosh. You see, it's a pain. 
thing to start it. Okay, now let's start this with the bigger log. Of course, this is easy, small log. Let's see what can it do with the much bigger log. Once again, it's so awesome to use this log stand, especially when I'm filming and showing you guys new gadgets, new chainsaws. This is perfect to use it on. Boom, sits there steadily. And once again, we're gonna do it with this chainsaw two times and then with the other chainsaw two times. And we'll see which one does better. There you go, it's finally started. Okay, it's annoying to start it. This one is a lot easier. Just push it forward, push this button, and press it. Ready to go. Okay, let's see if this one is faster. I also like it that this is like a lot longer grip. It's kind of more comfortable. Right, let's go. Awesome. Which one do you think faster? Pretty similar, isn't it? Honestly, I never thought electric chainsaw would even be close to the gas chainsaws. I thought gas chainsaw a lot more powerful. So guys, honestly, it's pretty similar. Very, very close speed. This one a little bit lighter, this one a little bit heavier. This one a little bit more annoying to start. Sometimes it would not start. You all know how it is. Especially the older chainsaw gets, this carburetor starts so slowly, you gotta keep cranking it till it starts. This electric chainsaw, you don't even have to crank it. You just push this thing and it's ready to go. Amazing. And right here, there's actually a locking mechanism in there. You can put a zip tie inside there. So that way nobody turn it on accidentally. But this is like a double lock, I love it. This thing is definitely amazing thing for like easy jobs like this smaller log but you know what we're gonna do another test with much bigger log this log almost too big for this gadget but we'll make it once again try to start this thing every time kind of getting annoying to start it on and off See what I'm saying? Now I don't want to start. Why is that? I just started it. It's still hot. It should start so easily. There you go. Ah, shut off on me again. Ah. These little chainsaws are just not meant for these big logs. But anyways, I just want to see which one does better, even with the bigger logs. Again, so much easier to start this thing. Push this in, push, and go. All right, let's see how this does. Wow, you be the judge, guys. It did not get stuck once. Amazing. Let me try this again, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Whoa, I love this so much better than this little gas saw. 
when I turn it off, it's off. It's not making a lot of noise. Bunch of stuff gets stuck over here, but that's okay. Wow, this is so much fun. I'm gonna cut this one one more time. Boom, amazing. Well guys, honestly, I'm shocked. I did not know electric chainsaw are so powerful nowadays. You know what, technology is ugh kitchen up they make those electric cars even electric semi trucks so no wonder nowadays electric chainsaws are so powerful as well let me show you how big this butter is boom and it's also because it's a devolt you i think also it's capable with 20 volt like a drill you can put this giant drill on any devolt tool even 20 volt this is awesome and this one is 60 volt but on a box it was saying it's capable with any like I think 20, 40 and 60 but all you have to do is plug it in have few of these batteries and you're ready to go you know it's sunset is going in my next test with this thing I'm gonna fully charge this battery right now it wasn't even fully charged I just opened up this battery out of the box I only charged it for like 20 minutes that's it and it's still powerful what I want to see is how long will this run can I cut at least a full tree with one charge or I just want to see how many trees can I cut before this whole battery dies and of course I'll bring with myself more than one battery when I go out and try to cut a bunch of stuff but again it's not meant for those big logs these electric chainsaws are meant for the smaller jobs maybe this size but I'm shocked. I didn't think this chainsaw would cut through that easily. This electric one. Because obviously this 16 inches Haswana had lots of lots of struggle cutting it through. It stopped a couple of times on me. It did not want to cut through. But anyways, let me know in comments below. What do you think about electric chainsaws? Do you like it? Or do you not like them? And you haven't even tried the new ones. Let me know in comments below what do you think. I honestly like definitely changed my mind about electric chainsaws. <sighs> I honestly never used them because from here say everybody told me electric chainsaws are not good. But wow, they are pretty amazing in my book nowadays. I haven't seen them making bigger than 16 inches chainsaws, <laughs> electric ones. Because obviously you probably will need a lot more power with those gas chainsaws that's why they don't make them bigger than that i don't know maybe i just haven't seen bigger electric chainsaws maybe they do make them but this is the biggest one i could find i was trying to find 18 inches the only thing i found is 16 inches but wow it did what it needs to be done around here especially what i cut in around here for i don't even have lots of big trees i usually cut small trees so i probably will be using this thing a lot and it's a little bit quieter and also when you stop cutting it's not doesn't make any noise so your ears take a break so that's pretty awesome anyways thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video and i'll see you next time